Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. I share simple and beautiful home decor tips to help you intentionally create a curated and cozy home. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some ideas for restyling and refreshing my sitting room space in my home. Now, this is just another living space in my home, so these ideas could easily be transferred to a living room or loft space or den space, depending on what you you have in your home. All of the ideas that I will be sharing today will be simple and the decor will be neutral because that is the vibe that I like to create in my home. Simple, neutral, and cozy. If you enjoy this kind of home decor content, I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel and thank you so much for taking the time to give this video a like. It really does help out my channel so much. Now let's go ahead and get right into the decorating. Here is a look at the space before. I am just going to be changing out a few small things. Since it is close to Valentine's Day, I do have a few small Valentine's Day inspired pieces. However, if this really isn't your thing, I did also provide just a neutral style for each style that leans a little more into the upcoming holiday. I'm starting with this antique dresser and bringing in this lamp for some height and warmth. I'm not convinced that this is the best spot for this dresser. I do absolutely love it, but it might need to be relocated to somewhere else in my house, or I might need to adjust the orientation. Anyways, I brought in some coffee table books and these glass beads. I love how the light reflects on these from the window. And to balance out the height on the other side, I am using this beautiful olive jar. I finally found one while my mom actually found one for me at her local store, which is about three hours from where I live. These type of pieces I feel like can bring so much character to your space. Couch, I am styling two pillows on the ends and then three in the corner section. I really love my spaces to be light and bright, so I tend to lean into the lighter colors a little bit more. If you have followed my channel for a while, y'all know I love my floral prints. Nothing too over the top. I like them to be just a little bit more subtle. In the corner of the couch, I added the little heart-shaped pillow, but as I said at the beginning, if you don't decorate for Valentine's Day, you could just leave this one out. neutral blanket with the little hearts but in just a minute I will show you how I style the couch without this piece as well. I like to keep my holiday decorating neutral. I just feel like it complements my space a little bit more. The alternative option that I will show you is a pretty knitted throw blanket from Target which is one of my favorites because it adds a little bit of texture to the space. When I am styling side tables, I don't like to crowd them with too much decor because I still want there to be usable space on the table. I loved this little vase from Magnolia. I thought the pattern was subtle and would be a nice transition into spring. If you prefer to stick with functional decor only, you could replace the vase of flowers with a pretty coaster set on top of the books instead. Harder and harder to slow down. 
here is my sweet Oakley helping me decorate. I can't believe she's going to be eight months old already. Anyways, I am changing out the blanket ladder that I had here and bringing in the smaller one that was up in my bedroom. The other one was crowding the space too much because it's much larger and the scale fits better in my bedroom. I like to add a blanket to the ladder that isn't folded just to help the space feel a bit more casual and lived in. And reading area I have again two options for blankets that I styled here one is a similar pattern to the one that I used on the couch and the other one is just a neutral with a simple pattern for this ottoman I am going to share two ways that you could style it I don't mind moving some decor if needed. This is especially easy because it is on a tray, but I do have another option as well. The black pot is from Home Goods. It is the Tahari brand, but I bought this back in the summertime and I haven't seen another one in stock since. I styled the pot with some dried hydrangeas and I love the soft pink that these bring into the space. If the tray option for the ottoman was not for you, you could also style it with a blanket such as this beautiful knitted one that brings in a layer of texture and interest. The last thing I wanted to do in this space was change out some artwork. I love the picture that was here, but I don't think that it fits the space any longer. I am relocating it to our guest room where I think it fits the style in there. This print is one of my favorites. It is the simplicity that I am drawn to. Now we go on and on with this poor love song we've been working on far too long. Here is a look at how everything came together. I did add this framed print to the tray on the ottoman, but you could totally do without it as well. I just wanted to say thank you all for being here. I truly appreciate your kindness and the support that you show my channel. Nobody's gonna come and save us. We cash in too many empty favors. Yeah. Now we go on and on with this poor love song. We've been working on far too long. All right, y'all, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you got some ideas and inspiration for your home. If you enjoy this kind of home decor content, a really wonderful way to show your support is to give this video a like and to hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much, and I will see y'all soon in my next one.